I have been pondering an idea of the infinity self topic, and I'm wondering if there is technically no time space outside of the third dimension, then is it possible for us in this physical reality to connect with our past and future life selves? Yes. For example, let's say you are aware of a past life in which you suffered many physical ailments. Is there a way to go into meditation to convene with your other selves to help one another? The first guide that presented the... I'm just going to stop there and answer that question. Yes. This is timeline work. And you can, I spoke about timeline work within the confines of one life and the timeline of this life and how we can travel back and forth and you can you can even go into the future of this timeline by doing timeline work but i talked about going back to the times in our life where we were changed we suffered trauma we took a wrong path we ingested a wrong belief or pattern going back to that time finding ourselves and saving ourselves we call this soul rescue but it's it is timeline work yes absolutely you can go back to the time of birth and then beyond into the past lives you can do this with the help by the way of a hypnotherapist or a regressionist but if you already have the ability if you already know of your past lives and it sounds like you do you ha and you have the ability to interact with that you then absolutely you can travel that timeline all the way back into the life and oh who is this person oh hold on i think it's neville goddard you know I love that guy so much. I think within Neville Goddard, and then I went down a rabbit hole and looked at other teachers too, but let me just, I know I'm not making sense. Here's what I want to tell you. Neville talked about, and somebody else expounded on, and I don't know who it is right now. I apologize for that. But he talked about doing timeline work where you actually changed the outcome. You know, with time travel, uh, you don't want to go back and shift things around too much because you're going to change the outcome of the present that you live in and also the future that is coming it's it's a similar concept without the fear it's going back in time via the timeline and you do that through the imaginal mind and, and also through the heart as well and you go back into something that went so very wrong for you maybe the moment that you started hating somebody or the moment that you started feeling fear or that sense of unworthiness, the moment somebody spoke that into you and you go back into it, not unlike shadow work where you go back to the you that you were in the moment and instead of just integrating yourself back into yourself and saying, it's okay, Crystal, come, you're safe now, you're with me. Instead of doing that, which you can do in conjunction with this, what you do is you imagine it differently. You imagine it happening differently and in a way that is in alignment with what you want to change or what you want to call into your life. And so if this is a moment when somebody told you who it was that you were, you ain't ever going to amount to nothing. You're a loser. Nobody's ever going to love you like I love you, so on and so forth. That's a moment in time that changed you if you believed it. Read The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's black magic when somebody speaks that into you and you say yes to it then you take it in and it, it's it's a it's a it's a poison that you actually drink and it changes who you are and many of us were young when this happened and so my father would say to me this or that <laughs> about me and i would believe it because it was my dad and so that created the foundation for many belief systems to come for me who is old enough now to recognize that that no longer serves me that i am worthy and that i am good and that i'm a divine being i can go back to the moment i first remember my father saying something like that to me and i can remember him doing something completely different i can go back into the same space the same room i can look the same way and so can he but i can remember him sober not drunk i can remember him smiling at me i can remember him telling me the most enriching and edifying things about how beautiful i am and i know i am at this age i know i am but he didn't tell me that all those years ago well i can make him tell me that through the function of the time travel that takes place in the imaginal mind don't get it misaligned don't get it twisted the imagination is just as powerful as this 3d materiality it's just as real what's taking place in the three in the imaginal mind is actually happening this is how when you have clairvoyants who are seeing things in their third eye they're really literally seeing things but they are peering into a different dimensional reality they're looking into the the, the fourth dimensional or the astral reality 
which you can't see necessarily sometimes with your 3D vision, but they're seeing absolutely true things. They're bringing messages, absolutely true messages from this unseen world. It's real. Your imagination is real. And time and space does not exist outside of the 3D reality. So time is an illusion. Yes, go into your mind, which is real. Use your intention, which exists in the consciousness and also in the heart. Go back to the moment and reimagine it. And you will feel the after effects that in your life as things begin to realign. Realign to the life to, to represent the kind of life you would have lived all those 20 years that passed from the moment he spoke it into you to now that are in alignment with what you just imagined he actually said he didn't say those terrible things he said those beautiful things and in your present life these things will start to adjust and organize around that because you have shifted the timeline you've changed it it's real work and it does work it sounds a little crazy but it's true and so you'd go into a meditation and you'd reimagine these traumatic events that changed you and you'd spend time doing it and don't get stuck remember shadow work is sticky don't get stuck there always be holding the light and holding the love but go and reimagine it and to that end you can reimagine past lives you can reimagine outcomes of past lives if you are in touch with them and you can also commune with the you that you were in a past life and you can have conversations that are actually happening because there is no past, not really, not outside of the 3D reality. You can have conversations with this you and reimagine new outcomes for that life and also this one. So it's very powerful. So when Christ is saying, you are all gods, well, Christ means that. And it's true. You have the power and it exists within the consciousness to make these adjustments and changes right now. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.